Hello my friends, and welcome to episode 20 of Let's Play Cities, Skylines, Trinity. Oh man, today we are going to be working on, well, continuing to get this area ready for development, and we are mostly going to be working in this general area, I think, today. Um, I do want to point out that I did make some minor changes and work off camera since the last time I made an episode. For one thing, I have built this little um, river avenue that connects this with the downtown. I've done that. I've leveled this out like this. I've reoriented the station to be straight. Now, well, you can't keep every historic farmhouse, and I'm afraid this one is just going to get it. <laughs> That's all there is to it. But, you know, we do have to get some of this demand taken care of. So, I think it's actually not a bad idea to make a little bit of uh, zones before we um, carry on here. So, let's just slap down a, a pretty small amount of residential and mainly residential, but maybe a little commercial. We don't want to go too nuts with the zoning because we want to save... You know, save your appetite for dinner, kids. We're saving our appetite for when we um, zone in all the big high-density zones that are going to be very, very popular with all the um, incoming residents and workers and things. So we're just going to give them a little taste, a little snack before dinner. Also, there's going to have to be a... Um, hmm... You know what I'm thinking. <clears throat> the main exit will be here, right? That's what I think. So therefore, why not preemptively expand this? We could expand it further, but that would require ripping up all that stuff. So let's just upgrade it like this. And like that. We're going to upgrade this all the way through, turning it into... A more major street than we've seen so far and we'll just say we'll just say that's fine for now we are of course going to be upgrading that at some point in the future but for now it will have to do could put that there but that would be an awkward intersection hmm oh what the heck let's have some have some fun live a little bit, make a crooked road. That is my official sagely advice to all of you. Got a big lot here. Can we put a park here? Oh, this park almost fits. It's our, it's very hard to find a place for the really big park, but this park actually does a good job of snugging itself right in there. But let's slap some commercial down. And then we're going to slap down <clears throat> some residential covering this area. So, I don't know if that will entirely satiate the demand, but it will certainly um, put it off for a little bit. But yeah, you can see that that, that upgrade is definitely um, having, its <clears throat> having its uses. So that's pretty good. I'm still amused by this, our dirt road. But anyway, it's time to start building over here. And my plan, well, this is where the Frederick the Great area will be, or whatever we decide to call it now. It's going to be extending along here. And this is the main avenue of such place. And it's going to be primarily, it's going to be, well, it's going to be a trolley neighborhood. Well, not trolley, but elevated rail. Whatever you want to call it. So we have to think about where we want all the stuff to be. Because remember, this line will have trains going in the other direction, or maybe it won't. It's hard to tell, because I might have it go through, or I might just have two different lines that start here. Actually, two different lines that start here might be a better option. So hmm these all line up 
and we're not going to wantonly delete old um, buildings. We are going to keep some of them around. So let's line that up. Click. So there we go. Old barn preserved. And these two, I think, are a good distance apart where people can walk to one or the other without, um, you know, <clears throat> them being too close or them being too distant so that people will always have a, um, a station to use. There we go. <clears throat> Perfect little curve. And now I think the goal is to end it over here. So let's preemptively put this like that. Let's put a thing like that. And we are going to make a nice pleasant station right here. And I think there's room for one more in between. So let's see here. I think what we are going to do for now, because we don't entirely know where we're going to want to put things in the future. We will have this <clears throat> go through here. We'll delete some of this. And actually, you know what? It can just come straight down here and end. Yes. Hmm. So there we go. I think that will count as two rather than, or one rather than two, I should say. Roads, that is. So let's. Oh, we can't upgrade that? I was too tight with that. Okay, well, we can fix that. Actually, let's go right ahead and go into here. Bump. And we are going to put our station... Hmm. I think right here would actually be the best spot for it. So we're just going to slap down some uh, some good old stuff here. We'll have this curve like that. <clears throat> and then after that it will be free, free form, you could say. Free from being part of a road kind of thing. There we go. I was thinking we'd have to edit it in some way. <laughs> but there we have it, folks. <clears throat> Our happy little line. We're going to delete this because it's no longer necessary. So, in order to complete this, we're going to make our first monorail line. Oh boy. So we click here, and along it goes to station one, plus technically two, three, four, five. And there we go. And to name it after the place in the original city where it is, we're gonna make it we're gonna make it blue. You might even say Prussian blue, because it's gonna be called Frederick. I don't know how to spell his name. <laughs> oh god. Frederick the Great Line. Somebody's gonna scream at me and be like, ah, you spelled it wrong. And, uh, and to that I say, well, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> that is a nice anchor for this 
region in for this stuff. I don't imagine there will be much going on right away. But one also one thing I also wanted to do was um, do something with our rails because we already have the rails going up and over here. But we're going to need rails going from here to the new area, or well, to possible new regions over here. So what I'm thinking is we're going to take these up and over, over here and through. And also I was thinking that we might want to make this connect over to here too. So we're going to attempt to do all these things without too much headache. Possibly easier said than done, but I am a pro and I can do these things easy peasy. So we're going to put that here. And let's see here. Yep, that's pretty much what I want. And now that we have that together, we can start thinking about where we want to put our rails. Because I want the bridge, the bridge to be, um, hmm, it could be parallel to this one. But I don't want it to go all the way over there. It's going to go more over here. So, first of all, let's go and also you can see there's quite a slope up here. I'm going to get rid of that power line, but we have to be really, really careful because it might be the only one connecting all these places over here to one another. Oh, do I hate power lines in this game. All right, you're gone, but we can... Hmm. Yeah, there we go. It's a reasonable substitute. <clears throat> Yeah, no one's using this yet, but they probably will. We'll just have to see. And then we can finally put more commercial over here once we know where everything is going to go. But time to elevate our ground. And of course, we have the ability to use as much dirt as we want nowadays. So that's pretty high. In fact, it might even be too high. <laughs> yeah, we're getting uh, getting a little bit nuts. Okay, but I think this will actually work out for us. Whoop. And the good thing is, if it doesn't work out, you can just smooth it away and it never happened. Isn't that great? So, there we go. And uh, I don't know, man. I don't know about that one. Yeah, sometimes it gives you these absurd lumpy dumpies that don't seem to make any sense. Like, why would this be higher than there? It doesn't make sense to me. So if we smooth it out a little bit, maybe it will get better. Now, why, why does that have to be all lumpy? Lumpy dumpy. All right, now let's try to do it in halves. Now it's saying the slope is too steep. Now we'll start with this. Oh, why are you so high? Okay. Eh. 
it's not that big of a deal. Besides, we can always, well, no, we can't smooth that out. That's just going to have to, I don't know. I don't think we should have to accept that. It doesn't look, it doesn't look so good. Hmm. Now I wonder if we can put the other side in and it, and if it will conform a little better. No, it's the same. No, I really don't want to accept that. All right. Okay, we're going to really try this now. Ah, you see? You see, you could do it all along. The game was just trolling me. Don't you hate it when video games troll you? All right, now we're going to have to um, get a little bit creative with our placement. Eh. Okay, um, that's all right. That's okay, okay. All right, why is that lump there? I don't want a lump. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm getting possibly too anal about this. I'm actually not going to worry too much about that. We're going to be smoothing a lot of this away anyway. And this is where we're going to have a double. I'm just going to cross it in a double way, such as this. Come on. Do what your bro did over there. Okay, yeah, sometimes you just can't get it to behave the way you want it to. All right, this has to start. If it starts a little bit over here. Space occupied where? Okay, there. That actually works out. Of course, this has to go down now. Hmm. I don't like how it doesn't touch the ground ever. What do you mean? What do you mean the slope's too steep? The slope is clearly not too steep. Sometimes the way it calculates these things is really strange. Hmm. But, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't feel like fighting with it. So we're just going to uh, level it out. Huh, looks uh, looks pretty good to me. And then we're going to do a similar thing over here. And then it's going to cross the river over to here where we will deal with it another time. 
it's always a good and peaceful thing to realize that you uh, you can deal with something later. Okay. Oh man, around you go. Once again, having to raise it up. Yep, there we go. It's fairly elegant, except for this part. But I think once the um, the trees are put in, I'm tempted to try this again, but you know, the uh, annoyance that I would have if it was if it went wrong, doing it again, would probably not be worth it. Hmm. And now I think we can smooth it. And after we smooth it, we can finally throw down some commercial. <clears throat> so now they can fully take advantage of that little area. Sound good to you? Sounds good to me. All right. Now, I want to get from here to four high. First of all, we have to cross this. Because remember, it is a little bit higher than um, a regular avenue. Okay. <laughs> hmm. It's going to shift a little bit to the side from where it is here, but that's okay. They're not the same elevation, though. Hmm, is that going to be a problem? Nah, I kind of like the look, actually. I mean, imagine you're a boat trying to navigate this. Oh, man, such problems. By the way, I can't imagine there's anyone using this, right? Well, first of all, where are the trains? Oh, there they are. There's one. Yep, no one's on it. Oh, one person's on it. But he probably works here. I mean... That's really the only reason you'd be using it at this point. Oh, and might as well hook up the water and power to these other ones. Because we don't want we don't want that to just be hanging out there on its own. Oh how I hate power lines. Okay. Uh, demand is already jumping back up, showing that we really have a um, a big thing going on here when it comes to our new area. Well, yeah, that is a long distance station. Will this one use this road? Let's see. It will, yes. Okay. And by road, I of course mean railroad. So yeah, that's that's why I put it there, so trains could um, get their way in. And, um, hmm, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, I know what else I wanted to do. I wanted to finish this avenue. So, once again, we're going to have to be working on some power lines here. Um... Whoops. 
I should have made that higher. Okay. Actually, you know what? If we just do that, that would actually solve our problem. So, we're going to take you. And you can go straight towards that area. And what we're going to do next is we want to get this through here and possibly all the way through there. Hmm. Which means this stupid power line is going to get moved. I, I'm a, I assume we're going to be moving this power line again like next episode. Like immediately after this. But we'll move it for now because yeah, the, the highway is going to come through here. But I just want it out of the way for the moment. Okay, so let's hit pause. Um, now, let's see. First of all, is it even possible? It appears that not at this point. Oh, the one thing we could do is we're going to take this. We're going to thin it up into a uh, just a regular two-lane road and and then when it comes out it will resume its big avenue status. Boop. Let's see, this one we can upgrade. We're going to take this and destroy it. And once again, power lines proving to be very annoying. But that's not all we are going to do. Hmm. Let me think about this. The best use of this area would be to have a road like this. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. And like that. And by the way, while we're at it, we could totally. Hmm. Actually, no. I want to have. I don't always want to snap. You silly. You silly thing. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We can upgrade this if we need to, but there we go. Snug little thing here. Hmm. Using my thinking, my thinking hole, as I like to say. Because, <laughs> yeah, I actually think upgrading this stretch of road, too, would be a um, pretty good idea. And we could uh, have it split off there. I think that's probably fine. Hmm. The question is, does it stay this way through here? Because when cars enter here, do they turn? Where do they turn? Do they turn right here? They might. So you know what? We're going to say, well, sorry, you can no longer park on that side, but that's going to be where this 
starts to widen. Now people will be using this word a lot once there is development here. And also I'm pretty sure, yep, they're both green at once. So this is all considered one big avenue. You know what, hmm, do I want to fix this? I want this to look nicer. I think I do. I think I do, guys. We gotta keep this on pause because that is, of course, an active track that we are totally destroying. Well, first of all, if we're gonna do that, we might as well, you know, do it, do it. So. Hmm. Stretchy, stretchy, stretch. And this will... Alright, that will continue. This will go here. And passengers on this line will not have to freak out. The game is actually very smart about getting that stuff sorted out. Like if you just me minorly change something like that, it will it'll find the new route because it will recalculate pretty uh pretty instantly. All right, and this is where I start to get a little bit annoyed with this, but Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, see the snapping is helpful but sometimes it's let's see if I turn this off okay what the hell okay well I've learned one thing this is too low all of this is too low Mm-hmm. You mean space already occupied. With what? Okay, there we go. Oh, that's ugly. That's fugly, you could even say. Hmm. That's too steep? You gotta be kidding me. Alright, that's a little bit less ugly. We can turn this back on. And watch this train. See how easy that is? It just finds it. So, we've got a good thing going here. And I believe that this is just about a good point to uh, finish up the episode. So, in this episode, we pretty much entirely spent it doing transportation-related things. And of course, we'll make this better later, but... For now, that's going to be it. So, I want to thank anyone and everyone who has watched this episode. This has been, of course, a lot of fun. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later.